Okay, next part. Let's let's try to represent each pixel with a data structure instead of just a, a uint32. Um, so to do that, we'll uh, add a data structure here. Let's go struct pixel. Actually, let's call it um, RG, RGBA because it's red, blue, green, alpha pixel. And uh, this data structure will contain uh, a raw value. Uh, so let's uh, let's make that easily accessible. So we'll go uh, public uh, variable um, raw, and that's uint32. Cool. So uh, oh, what did I get wrong? Let's see. Oh, right. Um, oh, actually, this needs to be a public structure. I like that a little. Okay, so, right. An RGBA pixel contains 32 bits of data, and uh, we can now use it uh, where we were using UN32 before. So, if that all compiles correctly, yep, image in, image out all good so far. But we haven't given ourselves access to the individual pixels. So we want access to the red, the blue, and the green. Um, now if memory serves, um, the first eight pixels are the red. So let's write a getter and setter. Uh, once again, uh, public red. Right, and let's start with the getters. Uh, to get the red component, when someone asks to get the red component, what we're going to do is, oh, when they get this, what are they going to get? They're going to get, uh, red is going to be a uint8. And when they get it, we're going to take that raw value, and we just want to return, uh, let's say we want to grab the first eight bits, so we're just going to bitwise and that with 0xff. I think that'll do us. And let me stare at that for just a moment and see if I can figure out what I did wrong public bar red you oh I didn't say var haha <laughs> I said var but I didn't type var okay now what's wrong here oh right so we need this to be downcast okay remember this is 32 bits so is this and then we're going to take the whole thing and going to convert it to a uint8. And that should be nice and safe. Cool. Now let's just reproduce this for... Add RG green. Blue. And I'm tempted to not even put in alpha, but uh, what the heck, let's put it in there anyways. Um, now, for the next one, we're interested in those bits. And we have to shift the whole thing over 8 bits. That looks right. So you get that? So we got our 32-bit value. We're interested in the second set of bits. And then when we get it, we shift it over uh, 8 bits. And what am I doing wrong there? Let's see. Ha! OK. One of the quirks of Swift. I haven't noticed that before. 
where it's kind of picky on where you can have spaces. Uh, that's okay. Okay, next up. This one, zero, 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 and this time we are going to move it over 16 bits. And we need to get our parentheses correct. And you know what, for the last one, I'm just going to do that. And that would be 24 bits. Cool. Okay, so we've set up getters to easily get, we think, at the red, green, blue, and alpha. Um, now, let's add some setters. So kind of the reverse operation. set. Okay, if memory serves, when you call the setter, we get this new value. So a new value is going to be passed in. And what we want to do is assign it to our raw. So we're going to say that the raw is equal to, and what we want it to be equal to, well, hmm, there's a few different ways we could do this one. I'm going to say, uh, let's go Let's convert what we've got, what we've just been given, the new value, to a, uh, an int32. Now this first one's pretty easy. We don't even have to shift it. Um, so there's the new value portion. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, bitwise or it with uh, the original raw value. Uh, and we are going to bitwise and it to remove those last few bits. So we're going to say x, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0, 0. Um, so now that all makes sense to me. I hope maybe it makes sense to you. We're taking that raw value. We're getting rid of the last 8 bits so that we can uh, replace those 8 bits with what just got passed in. Um, so that looks good to me. Let's do a similar exercise for the setter for the uh, green. Now for this one, we're going to have to shift it. So, um, oh right, we want to shift the 32-bit value. So I'm going to say 8. And this one, let's see, zero, zero, FF, cool. Okay, so that's the general design. That one's going to be 16, this one's going to be 24. Um, and this is zero, zero, FF, and finally, That makes sense. So we're turning off the first eight bits, the second, then the third, then the fourth. Perfect. Okay. That looks right. Of course, we better do a little test. So what do we want to do? Let's uh, let's prove that this actually does what we think it's doing. As a matter of fact, before we do that, um, first of all, why don't we do some jiggery pokery here? And just set every pixel to black. So going to need a couple loops for this. Let's start with the uh, the Y. So let's iterate over Y going from 0 to um, the height. Minus 1 obviously. Uh, that's why I use them. Perfect. Okay, and then for our X in 0 to the width. So, right, we're going to vary y on the outside, we're going to vary x on the inside. Cool. Okay, so now we can actually play with this pixels buffer. This is actually going to appear to be an array of RGB pixels. Um, so for starters, why don't we do this? <laughs> Let's just 
make everything black if we got our facts straight. So pixels. Okay. Um, now I haven't written the. We're going to write a convenience function for you know doing what we're doing here, but this is easy enough. Um, what we want to do is go to the index of the x plus the y times the width. Okay, if you kind of scrunch your mind up, that that makes sense. Um, you know, x every x adds one, every y adds whatever the width is. Easy peasy. And let's just set that to zero. Can we even set that to zero? Because no, we can't because it's expecting a RGBA pixel. So uh, as a matter of fact, let's add a convenience. Let's add a uh, initializer. So a public init uh, uint32. Um, I'll say raw val. Oops, mixing languages again. Raw val. Cool. So, in that case, raw is equal to uh, raw val. I may come up with something more intelligent later, but that works well enough. Okay, so now we should be able to go RGBA pixel with a value of zero. I think I have to say value. Raw val. Ooh, take a look at that. It's running. Our image is black. Well, 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 what do you know? And if we got our facts straight, um, if we were to go 0, FF, 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 I would expect it to turn white. And it didn't. Oh, wait a second, because one more FF. The uh, alpha channel was uh, set to transparent which doesn't help us. There we go. <laughs> All right. Um, and just one final test. Uh, let's, we think that should be red. We think that'll be red. And it is. Good. Okay. Um, so why don't we do this? Let's modify every pixel now. And then we'll, we'll call this one done. Um, Let's, the current pixel, let p equal this. Okay, so that's our current pixel. We're going to copy that. I'm a very lazy developer, so I like to copy a lot. Haha, <laughs> bad habit. Um, Okay. So this is a do nothing right now. We uh, we grab that pixel and then we just copy it back. But what if we were to do something like uh, set the red component to to 55? I honestly don't know. If, oh, what's it complaining about? Oh, probably because this needs to be a var, because we are mutating. Much better. So I'm expecting it's going to take the red component, and this should be a very red image when this is done. And this is just a confirmation that our data structure is set up correctly. Yes. Okay, now let's try blue. And once again, we're waiting for it to complete. Expecting to see a very blue image. Yes. 
Okay, and green's going to work too. So there you have it. Now we have uh, a way of taking an image and converting it into a bunch of pixels. Um, we have some mm, ways of altering those pixels. You know, we can adjust the red, the blue, the green. We can, uh, and uh, finally, we can take that uh, buffer full of pixels and we can convert it back to an image. Um, right now, this is all on a playground, but we can quite easily steal this code and bring it into our main project. So that'll be the topic of our next little talk. Thank you.